Hi, this is Greg from OnlineLanguageAcademy.com and in this video you are going to learn some very important vocabulary that you need to know if you want to talk about email and websites. Super important, super important, so keep watching. I've had many conversations with students or new students or foreign people and the moment we start talking about a website or their email address, the communication just goes meow because they don't know simple vocabulary to talk about their email address, to, to, to tell me their email address or to tell me a website. They just don't know that vocabulary. So, I want to teach you this vocabulary. It's very important. You always need to tell people your email address these days. So, let's go. First one is this symbol, which is, do you know it? At. Okay, at. Like, I am at home. I buy my bananas at the supermarket. At. The next one is this. So many students tell me an email address and they finish it in their native language .com, for example but it's very simple just learn it in English dot com dot com dot com google dot com dot com in English we have a different end in 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 the United Kingdom and it website addresses and email addresses usually end in dot co dot uk dot co dot uk okay so dot com dot co dot uk and I have a very common mistake with Spanish students because in Spain the email addresses or internet addresses usually finish with this now when they read it in Spanish they say punto s so maybe in English they say dot s but this is wrong because dot s is this dot s what you want to say is dot e s okay it's very important to say dot e s and not dot s the next one is what all websites begin with and it's very difficult to say but it's www dot okay www dot www dot you might have to say this a hundred times for it to become normal but www dot okay then we have this symbol which is a slash you might hear people say forward slash okay forward slash or back back slash or you can simply say slash the next one is this one, dash, dash. You might also hear people say hyphen, okay, hyphen. And then we have the lower one, the underscore, the underscore, underscore. Finally, if you use Twitter a lot, you will definitely use this one, hashtag, hashtag. Subscribe if you've liked this little short English lesson. I hope it has been useful for you and I hope you can now talk about your email address and websites with confidence and fluency. Remember, get my free ebook. You need it and keep watching. Bye for now.